Good morning. Good morning. Hello to all my friends from Puerto Vallarta, from Toronto, from New York. I've got a couple of people in Europe that are coming in today, and they said they would stay up to watch it. So there's lots of us here today that are going to join together. So let's just look to see what equipment I have. I have my chair here. So in the 10 minutes that we do sit, some people don't like to sit cross-legged, this is your chair. So find a chair in case you want to sit. Some days we don't feel like sitting on the floor, so you find your way. As you can see, I have my two arm extenders, my pots here. So you have it so that you don't have to reach so far to the ground, your arms are longer. Sometimes our hip, our knee, and our ankle joint aren't that flexible that we would like. And then we have our strap, which is our arm extender when we're lying down on the ground. And we have our pillow, you got your pillow, so that you can use it at the back of your head when you're lying down. Or sometimes we put it in our back so we arch our spine and lie on it like that. So are we ready to start? Hi. So I'm gonna use my, my um, pillow to lift me up. So come into comfortable seated position, Sukhasana, it's called easy pose. Sukha means easy and asana means pose. All of the yoga terminology is in Sanskrit. And it always has asana at the end. So sukhasana means easy pose. So find your easy pose, whether it be here or here. Crisscross your legs if it feels good. You'll have one side that feels more flexible. Bring our hands to our knees. Why do I do that? Because we want to teach our back and our belly to be able to have fluidity. So roll up onto the zip bone. Feel those ischium, they're called. And see if you can even them out. So one will be flipped up or one might be forward or back. See if you can give yourself that nice, even stance. Very nice. And then you think about pulling your belly just slightly under your ribs and closing your ribs to give you that stability and strength that you need to sit. Or you're sitting on your chair doing this. And then you start to lift your heart to the sky. So keep this position here and then start lifting your heart. And then shift your shoulder blades down and slightly back. Most of us have this 12 pound in front of our neck, so let's bring it back. And then softly think about somebody at the back of the crown lifting you up to the heavens. And I'm actually holding on to my legs to pull myself forward to stay here for five or 10 minutes. If it doesn't feel good, or you like this pose better, you take individual self, which is your forefinger, and your thumb, which is your great self. And you know you're the only a person on this earth that is unique. So we take individual self, your best self, and your unique self, and we come into what's called a mudra. Mudra is a hand gesture. So some of us might like this, open ourselves to the universe, so we float the energy upward, and we lift our head back over top of our spine. We're going to start today with a mantra. A mantra is a set of words that you say over and over again, and a mantra is a wonderful way to start the day. So if you feel safe, Close your eyes. If you don't, you can look down or you can look up at me, whatever feels good for you in a safe environment. I'm here on Gambier Island and I'd like to welcome you all to Gambier Island in British Columbia. So if you choose to close your eyes, just have a little close and we start. May I know peace. May I know love. May I handle life's difficulties with ease. May I know peace. May I know love. May I handle life's difficulties with ease. May I know peace. Now I'd like you to think about your most peaceful, safe place that you have in the world. And picture the colors and the shapes that surround you. And picture yourself in that safe, wonderful place where you feel peaceful. Who are you with? Are you by yourself? Or are you with somebody else? Just run through your mind this peaceful place that brings your heart rate down and makes you feel wonderful. Keep seeing it. Keep imagining it. Keep staying in the moment. It's beautiful. Now, may I know peace, but may I know love. I'd like you to scan all the people in the world that you love and send out a message to them over the airways, the energy airways, that we're tipping the whole world by being together here into a new millennium of life. May I know love. Close your eyes and picture all those people. Let their faces scan in front of you. Any living thing, it could be a plant, it could be an animal. See their faces. Smile at them. You might want to even stop and tell them what quality that they've given to you to be at your back that has been so wonderful. Mm. 
May I know peace. May I know love. May I handle life's difficulties with ease. As we know, many of us are going through a very difficult time. The world is going through a difficult time. How do you handle difficulties with ease? It's by teaching the body to be easeful in its approaches and handling these life difficulties with ease, with the breath, which we'll do, and coming to the practice often. How do you handle life's difficulties with ease? Is it through breathing, positive affirmations? Try one of your positive affirmations or strategies that you use handling life's difficulties with ease. May I know peace, may I know love. May I handle life's difficulties with ease. May I know peace, may I know love. May I handle life's difficulties with ease. May I know peace, may I know love. May I handle life's difficulties with ease. You might decide tomorrow, if we're not together, to say that mantra 10 times. It permeates through your whole body energetically. Very nice. Let's shake out our legs. Open our mouth with that ha breath. Inhale. Ha. You can go back to your chair, shake out your legs on your chair if that's where you are, and come back again to whatever way that you find seating. Now, most of us, I always have this foot in front, so I'm going to change my feet. It might feel a little awkward, so I have to kind of move myself around. And once again, I might hold on so I lift up and get my correct posture. We're going to be practicing a breath count every time we come in. Last time we did a 4 to 8 breath. Today we're going to do what's called alternate nostril breathing. Why I like alternate nostril breathing is energetically, there's a yin side, which is the doing side in life and the production, and the yin side, the watching and the observing and the softness of life, looking at the shadows. So we want to nurture so that we're balanced in our energy system, the yin and the yang. That is an energetic way to think about this alternate nostril breathing. But I had a client who came to my class who was a marathon runner, and they found, she found that one nose didn't take any air in. And she thought, I'm running these marathons. How do I get enough air? So she went and she had some surgery done. And anatomically, she found that she had some bunch of polyps in her nose. So you'll see which takes in more air and see what pushes out. It's called a four, four, four breath. So four counts in, four counts hold, and four counts release. When we're doing the hold, we're going to rub what's called our third eye. You are your greatest teacher, you know, do know, and energetically, we want to be able to take it upon ourselves, to use our intuition, and we're nourishing our intuition. So bring the right hand up, take the thumb, and the forefinger, and the baby finger, and the other two fingers come down. I'm going to put this on the right side of my nose, and I'm going to put this finger right in the center where my third eye sits, that eye of intuition. And I'm going to keep this finger here so when we change nostrils, you're going to blow out that side. So keep your eyes open for about three count, three sets, and then you can close your eyes once you understand what you're doing. Here we go. Deep in one nostril, right side, we're the inside, our quiet side, we're nourishing. Inhale, two, three, four. Rub, two, three, four. Change nostrils, four, three, two, one. Now inhale here, inhale, two, three, four. Rub, two, three, four. Change nostrils, exhale, two, three, four. Big breath, inhale as much as you can, two, three, four. Rub, two, three, four. Change nostrils, four, three, two. Close your eyes if you know it, inhale. Two, three, four. Rub, two, three. Change nostrils, four, three, two, one. Inhale, two, three, four. Rub, two, three. Change nostrils, four, three, two, one. Inhale, two, three, four. Rub, two, three. Change nostrils, four, three, two, one. One, inhale, two, three, four. Rub, two, three, four. Change nostrils, four, three, two, one. Inhale, two, three, four. Rub, two, three, four. Change nostrils, four, three, two. Last one, inhale, two, three, four. Rub, two, 
Change nostrils. Four, three, two, one. Bring your hand down. Shake your arms. Open your mouth with a ha. Ah, really let the breath go. Again, inhale. Ah, wonderful. Take the right arm out in front of you. Take the right palm and reach it behind your head. Take your arm and bring it up. So we're opening up the tricep, which is the back of the arm. Come over to the left side and look to the right. Feel the side body opening and come back up. Look forward. Again, roll to the left and come back up. Now pull your belly under your ribs. Really good core stabilization. Pull and look. Come back up. Now once you know it, close your eyes and just see if you can draw with your shoulder blades a horizontal line. Try not to do any rotation. This is just lateral flexion to warm up the spine and all the muscles that surround it. Two more times. Opening up the shoulders. Last one. Come back up. Bring your arm out in front of you on the right. Bring your arm around on the left. Open your mouth again with that hot breath. Inhale. Ah, I wish I could hear you all saying that. Arms up. Arms forward. Chin back. Drop nose to chest. Pull wings wide. Breathe deeply into the shoulders. Big breaths. Let's hear you. Two more, inhale. Last one, inhale. Bring your head up. Turn towards the left, look towards the right. Pull your belly around to the left as you look to the right. Three breaths, inhale. Exhale, let's hear the breath, inhale. We know how good it is for our lungs. Exhale to breathe deeply, inhale. And as we exhale, look to your left and drop your arms to the left. Let your body hang, open up your mouth, and make the ha sound again. Inhale. Ah. Shake your head, let your lips hang loose, let your jaw be loose, let everything go. Breathe and hold, feel that hip on the right really opening up. Let your body just hang for a minute more. Breathe through your mouth to release your tension. And then pull your belly in and come all the way up on the diagonal, look up to sky. Remember, you might still be on your chair, that's perfect too. Bring your arms way up to sky and way down to the side. Let's shake out our legs again. Very well done. Let's go to the other side, warming up all that chest and shoulder area. Let's do the other foot now coming in front. So whatever you find that you do, change sides. And let's bring that arm out in front. Hold on to the knee so it gives you stability to get there. Bring your hand to the opposite shoulder. Bring your head back. See how far you can bring your head back. And then pull that shoulder blade down. Bring the head back, and then bring that other hand over onto the elbow. Now try not to rotate. We're trying to reach to the side and back up. We're trying to work those abdominal muscles as well as back. So pull the abdominals under the rib cage. Inhale, exhale, short breaths. Inhale, exhale. Close your eyes if you know it. Inhale, exhale, beautiful. Inhale. Feel the pull on all those lateral muscles in the lower back. Two more, you're doing beautifully. Oh, we're nourishing and nurture our body, so we're healthy. And open up your eyes and take that left hand up. Take that right hand under. Doesn't matter where they are, just intertwine them with that right arm. Turn the palms inward. Lift those arms up as high as you can. And then lift them forward. Remember that males have more bulk. So it's not going to probably look like this. It's going to look like this for you because you have more muscle bulk. Very nice. Lift, pull the shoulders forward, pull the elbows forward, and drop the nose. Pull the wings really wide in your back. And then send white healing light, a beautiful energy and light. Inhale, tuck your nose. Exhale. Inhale, powerful breath, white healing light. Exhale, all tension is leaving. One last time, inhale. Some of us have been on the computer a lot. Exhale, talking to people. So really stink well. Then lift your head up. Lift your head up. Up one more time. And then very slowly, shake out your arms. Open your mouth again with a, ha, ah, that beautiful ha breath just lets us all go. Nice, nice. And shake out your legs. So if you're on your chair, you're going to come down to your mat now. I'm going to take the pillow away behind me. And I'm going to come on to all fours. At the top of my mat, I have my arm extended, so I'm here. So I'm going to come onto my mat to warm up my spine now. I'm curling my toes under, and I'm really using all my toe joints. They're hip-width apart, and hands are under shoulders. 
And I'm going to go with the breath. Inhale, lift up, tuck chin really deep. Exhale, look all the way up. Again, exhale, round. Inhale, drop your belly and look up. Again, exhale, round. Oh, it feels like a huge massage for my back. I can feel strength in my shoulders. I can feel my spine being able to be mobile and not stuck. Give me four more. Exhaling. Inhaling. Exhaling. And inhaling. Two more. Exhaling. Last one. Then I'd like you to flatten your toes and take your butt over to the right side smoothly and then over to the left. And then when you come up, I want you to lift your back to sky and nose to chest. Let's try that again over towards the right. Close your eyes if you know what I'm doing to the left. And lift up as high as you can. Again, all the way. All the way. Do two more in silence. See how smooth and soft and slow. Some of us will go way back to our heels if our knee and our ankle joints are mobile. Others of us might stay really high. It doesn't really matter. This is your practice. You're the master. You do know, like we nourished our third eye, what feels good. Last one. Let's widen our legs a bit and come down to our elbows. So we're increasing now, intertwine your fingers. We're increasing now that depth. As we exhale, we round, pull your toes under and drop. Inhale. Exhale, we can get a bit deeper into that back. You're using your core muscles. Look up, inhale. If you know it, exhale, close your eyes and glide away with me. Beautiful. Resting our wrists. Oh, yes, we're not going to rot. We're going to thrive and we're going to survive. And tomorrow we're going to talk about all our talents that we can take out into the world and restorative. So I hope you'll join us for restorative. We lie on our back and our stomach. Two more. Last one. Oh, we're nourishing this back so much. And then roll up to all fours again. And let's warm up the hips now. So try to pull your belly under your ribs and start lifting the leg on the right up and down. Clamshell, it's called. This is a good way to strengthen this muscle above the big glute muscle called the glute med and the glute max. It strengthens. You can also feel how we're strengthening the hip on the left. Oh my gosh, that hip on the left is really working. And then we're going to take that kneecap around in a circle, big juicy circle. And then the other way, big juicy circle. Oh, that left hip is really strong. I like it. And then we're going to bring our knee into chest. And extend it and look slightly up. Continue the float. Bringing your nose to your knee as much as you can. Pull the front body up. Your chest up. Your belly up. Don't just use the hip joint to stay here, here. Three more times. Nice. Two more. Now some of us will be had enough and you'll bring your knee in. Others of us will stay out to the front. Others of us might choose to take the opposite arm on the left up. Turn your palm in to float the joint. Some of us might say, oh, that's enough, I'm bringing my knee in. Others of us might reach behind, grab the toe, and lift up. Breathe and hold. Others of us will be right here, just waiting, strengthening our hip on the other side. Extend that leg out again on the right, bring the arm in on the left, and bring the knee in. Open up your mouth with that. So that leg on the left now is super tired. So let's take that leg and bring it behind us. Walk the fingers forward. Let's stretch that leg that really worked. And push into your hands as you drop the nose to the chest. Breathe three times deep. Pull your shoulder blades down. Beautiful. And then slide that toe all the way to the right side of your mat and flatten the toe. And look towards your left. Keep pulling towards your left. Keep pulling towards your left. Beautiful. Feel that back stretch. And then come back to center. This time we're coming down to our elbows to get a bit deeper. Push your head into the floor as you push on your elbows and feeling that gas drop, that calf muscle, really getting a good stretch. Breathe and hold. 
And this time we're going to come across again to the right side. Left leg comes across, toe is flat. We look towards the right as we pull to the left with our hip. Good strong shoulders here, everybody. Beautiful. And then we come back to center. Come all the way up to gate just to release your spine and your back. Bring your hands behind you, intertwine your fingers. Look up to sky and roll your hips forward just to take the spine in another direction. We don't want to overuse a joint or strain the muscles by doing too much. Then you're going to let your head fall back if your neck is strong and look right up to sky. Open your mouth and get rid of stress. Speak truthfully, kindly when necessary. That is yogic speech, truthfully, kindly. Open your mouth and see if you can puff five times through their throat really loud. <sighs> Keep your arms where they are and drop your nose down to your chest. Pull the wings wide again for all that tension in those joints. Keep the breath flowing. Beautiful. And then release and bring your hands to your shoulders. Open your mouth with a <sighs> So many of us, myself included, I did aerobics for a million years. And when I first went to yoga, these people would do what's called hero sit. And I was like, how do they do that? I would get into this pose and literally within two minutes or one minute, I'd be going, I got to get out of it. So I want you to listen to your joints because if you've had any knee injury or any surgery on your knee or your hips, this might be a difficult position. So I take my, uh, my uh, pillow and I decide whether I want to flatten my toes. So we're stretching the ankle joints and I try to sit down. Now some of us might say, I only can get to here. Then you can take your pot and put your pot behind you, put your pillow on top and sit down. So try that one, get your pot, put it behind your butt, oh, still too much. Well, maybe I should bring a second pillow to collapse. And then I can put another pillow to lift me up. So we want to sit here quietly and see how the body reacts to sitting. Come in and out of the pose. If it gets too much, we got to teach the knee joint to stretch in that area. I was so tight at this muscle here called vastus medialis that I just couldn't sit like this. So move in and out of the pose or put your pillow, get another pillow behind you and practice sitting here. And then we want to oscillate over top of the joints. So all we're going to do is just bring our arm up and sway side to side so that we're pulling on what's called the tibialis anterior, which is the front of the leg. We go heel toe all the time. And what happens with the heel toe, this muscle at the front of the leg gets really tight. Really well done. I like it. Come up, come back up to gate and take your block away. If you have something behind you. Now you have choices here. Remember, my class is all about choice, okay? I'm going to give you your choices that you can do. So just sit there on your pillow or sit in here like this and watch your choices. Number one, I think I'm going to stay here. Number two, my knees are sore, so I think I'm going to sit here. Number three, I'm going to do downward dog. So I have downward dog, and I might choose to walk the dog. So choose all fours, maybe back to cat cow or sitting and shaking out the legs, or coming into downward facing dog. Walk your dog, sway your hips, really juicy them up, pull your shoulder blades down your back. These area here at the wrists, we get plantar fasciitis. It's from too much weight doing on the computer and doing too many downward dogs. So we wanna be very careful and take a break in dog and maybe come into child's pose whatever works for you. Couple more wherever you are. And then slowly come out of the pose. So if you're in down dog, you're gonna come into child's pose. Let's bring our feet super wide. And I'm gonna take my pillow and put it behind my butt here. And I'm going to come forward with my rise and just lie there in child's pose wherever you are some of you might not need to have something in front of your head some of you might not need a pillow so you find your way nice just breathe into that joint breathe you're doing beautifully the other hip is saying choose me choose me slowly come on to all fours 
Let's bring the knees hip width apart. And we're going to now to come over to the right side and we're gonna clamshell. See how sp my spine is steady? I'm not whipping my spine along. I'm pulling my belly in. I'm looking just forward so the top of my head is to the top of my mat. I'm strengthening my right hip joint. And then circle back, big circles, as big as you can, really gumming up that joint. We go forward and back with the hip joint and we need to, as we age, get more mobile. Yes, we're gonna thrive. And then the other way, big circles, big circles, beautiful, beautiful. And then take that leg, left leg across, and rotate all the way. Pull the belly in as you rotate to the other side on the right. And then let's come back again and come down to the elbows now. Intertwine your fingers, tripod your arms, and start your cat-cow on elbows, widening your legs really wide, as wide as your mat. Feel that spine as you exhale, you're rounding. Inhale, you're dropping. Oh, I feel the music within you, just giving you some beautiful practice. Keep going, you look wonderful. Ah, yes. Give me four more of those beautiful, slow cat-cows, cows, to nourish your back. Calm your mind. We want to tie into the parasympathetic nervous system. That system that actually cleans out is called rest and digest system. It calms you down. Your heart rate starts to lower. Your digestion is better. Your gland activity increases. Our stress level goes down. So use your breath, big and full, a couple more times. I love it. And last one. And then come on to your up onto all fours again. And again, now take the right leg across. This time, come down to your elbows and look all the way around to your left side as you pull your hip to the right. You can feel those lower back muscles doing beautiful things now. A couple more breaths, pulling, nice. And then take that toe behind you and push on the elbows as you bring your nose to your chest and push the heel down into the ground for the lower leg stretch. Keep the breath generously flowing. Keep pushing that heel, dropping your nose towards the ground, feeling how beautiful you feel. One more breath. And then come back to all fours and come on to your pots or your, or your pillows or your, what do you have, bolster, whatever you have there. I want you to step forward. I want you to pick up the toe and pull it backwards and plant it down. How does that feel for you? Make sure that the heel is directly over, the knee is directly over the heel. And I want to rotate my body towards the right side and then back again. I want you to feel this quadricep muscle, how it pulls differently when you rotate. Here we go. Look to your right, roll to your left, and come back. Then go to your left, your pubic bone has a little muscle that connects, and back to center. Let's go to our right and rotate. This is stretching front body now on the right, left, and back body at the buttocks on the right. Forward, left, forward. Let's increase the stretch now, flatten the toe at the back, and squeeze your butt as hard as you can, and rotate to the right. Ooh, let's... More limitation, I rotate to the left, rotate to the right, rotate to the left. And then relax your butt and bring that arm up and look up to sky and then squeeze your butt on your left as high as you can. Lift your heart a bit higher. Beautiful, beautiful stretch, beautiful. And then bring your arm back down. Bring one hand to the knee and the other hand to the knee and you'll find yourself coming up a bit higher and we're gonna walk the foot in. We want to stretch now this quadricep into the, so we've got the left arm up. We're going to come across. We're going to roll the butt forward. We're going to keep the shoulders tall, and we're just going to turn to the right. That's it. Keep pushing that butt forward. Beautiful, beautiful. And come back to center. Walk the foot forward again. Bring the left hand up. Bring the left hand across. And look up to the sky. Bring the right hand up, and now you get a little bit 
deeper lower back twist. Beautiful, beautiful. Hold the pose and breathe. And then look down, bring your hands back to your blocks and slowly roll back, keeping the toe on the ground. Keeping the toe on the ground. Now you might find that you need something underneath your knee joint. So put a blanket, I have a blanket here. Put a blanket or a pillow underneath your knee. Hold the pose, pull back through the right hip and roll the left hip around to the right side. So just rotate your hips and feel that hamstring muscle, the back of the leg, really stretching. Keep the toe to the ground to once again stretch that muscle at the front of the leg. And then very slowly we're coming forward. We're holding the pose, we're looking up, and we're gonna be turning now. So I'm going to bring my pot with me as I turn towards the left. So bring your pot, turn towards your left, and you might need a pillow on top. Start rocking side to side, side to side. Rock as low as you can. Some of you might need another pillow on top to reach. Some of us might not need anything or we might reach to the ground. We want to try to draw a straight line side to side. Pulling on those inner hamstring muscles, pulling on the inner thigh, which is a set of five muscles. And then let's roll to the top of your mat. So roll it, bring your hand on your block and just look up. You're bending into the front leg as the back leg is straight. And then we come down and we rock side to side. Beautiful. Pull your belly in, turn your toes forward, bring your right hand and left hand to the kneecap. Look up at me and roll that hip forward and back. Feel how good that feels. Oh, strong bodies and then roll all the way up. Very nice. Turn your toe out, the front toe turns out. Check to make sure the front heel is in line with the back arch. We're going into what's called trikonasana or triangle. Our hip goes to the back of our mat. My armpit reaches way across a glass table so that you don't want to lose your plane. I turn my palms down and spread the fingers. I pretend that there's a piece of glass here and here, and I glide. Now some of us watch the teacher and they get down to their feet and you end up being like this. I want you to stay integral in this pose. So just go as far as your body wants to take you without your rotation. You can look up to your thumb or down to the ground, depending on your neck strength. Pull your upper belly up as high as you can. Right here, pull, pull. And then pull it back, pull. Very nice. And then look down at your front toe, soften up the front knee, and come all the way up. Look up at your front hand, and come all the way up. And then we're gonna straighten the leg into shoulder square. And I'm going to take my hand up my hip so I can pull my shoulder blade back and down. And then I make the choice. Do I want to look up at my thumb or do I want to look at my back toes, depending on how it feels. There's that little muscle right at the top of the hip on the back leg. I want you to squeeze your butt and see if you can get more room in there. Have some breaths. Hold the pose. This is called exalted triangle. And then we come back up. This time we're going to Hold our hands out and spread. We're gonna look down at our third toe. We're gonna to use these inner thigh muscles to bring the kneecap out over the third toe. This is called warrior two. Some of us might have to extend our legs a bit. Just float into it and feel your fluidity. And then let's add some motion with the arms. Inhale, look up. Exhale down. Inhale, lower body is still, upper body is moving. Exhale, come out of the pose and come back in if it's too much. Inhale. Exhale, bring the back hand again to your hip. Look at the front hand. Stay square to your pose so you're not turning your body to the front wall. Squeeze your butt, hold the pose, pull the shoulder blades back. Beautiful. Well done, everyone. Just do as much as your body will allow and just show up. 80% of life is showing up, tattered, tired, whatever, nervous, just show up. Be there for someone else, especially yourself. And then I'm going to turn my body around. And I'm going to kind of slide my foot in. Then I'm going to turn my body and look way up in the sky and straighten my leg. And then slowly, I'm going to turn the toe. I'm going to bend the knee and softly come forward. 
Start to lift your arms to the sky and look up to the sky. All the way up to the sky. Keep lifting. Keep squeezing shoulder blades back and down. We did this yesterday. Let's do it again. Bring your arms in front. This is for your wrists. Turn your palms out. Take your right hand over left. Intertwine your fingers. Now don't go too far. Just go as far as the wrists and the elbows take you. Hold. And again, back. Nice. And again, head back. Posture, shoulders down, belly in. And again. One more time. Very nice. <sighs> Hands on shoulders, rotate. Bring your feet together. Let's do some balancing. My friend Ben, are you out there today? He loves his balancing poses. Hi, Ben. We're ready for a balance. Keep that hip still. Toe here, shoulders back and down. We're going into what's called eagle. We did eagle arms already. We're going to do eagle legs. Let's take the leg and bring it around. Let's try to wrap it as much as you can. Some of us might even lift it off the ground and wrap a bit more. You choose. Some of us will stay right here, or others of us will lift our arms out to the side and push our tailbone back as our heart lifts. Folded eagle. Folded eagle. Eagle's flying, it moves around, moves around. Use your strength, drop your hip, and then slowly come back up if you're down. Very nice. Come all the way up. Open your mouth with a <sighs> These outside hamstring muscles stabilize us, so we've got to stretch them. So like a ballet dancer, bring your toes out. Lift your chest up and hinge from the waist first. So keep looking up at me and hinge. Hinge, hold the hinge. Hold the hinge. And then slowly bring your hands down your leg. And if you feel that you want more support, keep your hands above the kneecap and soften the knees. If not, some of you will reach your hands towards the floor. And then lift your tailbone way up to sky. And then start to bend the right leg. So bend at the knee and lift that hip up on the left. Ooh, that's more of a stretch for that hamstring. And then bo bend both knees. Bring your hands to your knees and roll slowly up. Very nice. Let's find our mountain now. Ha! Ah, tadasana. Tadasana means quiet pose. I want you to check in with your toes that they're very light. Lift up the arches of your feet and bring the weight into the balls of your feet. Lift the arches and come right into the center of the arch. So you've got to come back a little bit in your heels, towards your heels. You have firm grounding. If you're on your toes all the time, you're going to be in precarious territory. So we want to practice balancing with firmness. Soften up the knees, but really try to get this muscle that's above the kneecap to contract, contract, so push it there. That's a strengthener for it. It strengthens at zero to 30 degrees. And then pull your belly under your ribs slightly. Lift your heart. Pull your shoulder blades down your back. Bring your head back. Turn your thumbs out to float the shoulder joint down. Close your eyes and listen to your heart rate. Let that heart rate come down and really appreciate all the joys of the gifts that you have that you showed up today. One last breath. Take a deep inhale. Look up to sky. Arch your spine and as you exhale, swan dive forward. Now some of you might just bring your knee to the floor and walk down onto the floor. Others of us will walk back into downward dog. We'll start walking our dog. Some of us will be at the knees, so we'll be on all fours. You choose where you want to be. So if you're up and down dog, you also have a choice to come into plank from your knees or your toes and back up into downward dog. Pull the nose to chest. Again, strength. So I can be here all the way forward. And then I pull all the way back. I pull all the way forward into my plank on knees. My chin is tucked on the top of my head. This is how I strengthen my core. Two more times. Here we go. Float from down dog all the way into plank and all the way up. And last one. Plank, shoulders wide, and then knees come down to mat. Make your way back to your expression of child's pose with your pillow behind your legs. You might use your bucket at your head, or you choose. Listen to all the beautiful work you did for your heart, 
It's called a little bit of HIIT training, high intensity training, where we pump the heart up really fast. And we bring it back down and recover. And then we pump it up. This clears out the bad cholesterol in your body. And it allows our arteries to be healthy. It elevates our heart rate and makes our lungs function better. Beautiful. Slowly and quietly, come all the way up to gate, it's called, again. And we're going to take our two blocks again. And we're going to lift up into gate. And we can pull our leg forward if it feels better for you. You choose. You can put a pillow underneath your knee joint if it's too much. So lift your foot up and try the pillow maybe or the blanket and come back down. See how it feels. And again, lift it up. See if you can get more distance. Pull it back down. And then I make sure my heel is directly over top, my knee is directly over top of my heel. And then I come into my pose and I start to rotate all the way with my right hip to the left wall. My eyes go to the left. I come back to center. I rotate to the other side. Back to center. We're asking our hip joint to go into an extreme lower back rotation. And forward. And side. And back. And rotate. Now this time I'd like you to squeeze your butt as hard as you can. So now you're adding more pull on the muscle. Here we go. All the way to the left. Keep your butt squeezed. And center. All the way to the right. Center. Continue. All the way to the left. Center. Squeeze really tight. Oh, I can feel all that letting go of my hip joint, all my sitting that I'm doing more than usual. And then look to the left and release your butt and bring the arm up on the left all the way up, all the way up. That's it. Lift your heart to sky. Breathe and hold. Beautiful. And then bring your hand back down. Walk your leg in and come back right on the patella, which is your kneecap. Once again, we don't want to bruise it, so you might use your pillow or your blanket. And it's a little uneven, certain, so that's good. We roll this right hip forward, and when we get forward as far as we can, we give it a good squeeze. Once again, this muscle here and this muscle here that goes onto the back is stretchy. Hand comes up, and we come across. Keep squeezing the butt. Keep squeezing the butt. And then turn towards the left. Turn all the way towards the left. Really pull your belly to the left. Beautiful. And come all the way back to center. Arm comes down. Very nice. Step forward with your leg. We're going to be going now over to our right side. So we're going to lift up our leg. We're going to take our block or whatever we have with us. And we're going to start to roll side to side. Take your pillow away from behind your legs. And shake your head. Open your mouth with a... Some of you might now come down to your elbows. Some of you might even bring the head to the floor. Some of you might have your head on the pot. Where do you want to be now in your practice? Smoothly going side to side. And then roll into the front hip and straighten the back leg. Bring the back hand onto the block and look up to sky as you rotate and look forward as you bend into your front leg and straighten the back leg. Lovely, everyone. And then bring your arm down and start to bring the feet in slightly. Bend the knees, bring the right hand and left hand above the knee joint, and start to roll your hips forward and back, just to see how mobile that lower back is after all our beautiful practice so far. Then I'm going to pull my belly in, roll all the way up, and let's just work the shoulders a bit. A few circles, and then we're going to turn our front toe to the front of the mat, and we're going to check to make sure the heel of the front foot is in line with the arch of the back foot. A classic yoga pose. We're going to stretch from the shoulders and pull from the fingers. We're going to take this back hip and push it, push it back, push it back. And we're going to take the armpit across the glass table. Pull, 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 pull. Then we're going to stay in the two panes of glass. There's a pane of glass here, so it can't pump out of the glass. And we're going to slowly come into our pose. Now we have the choice in this pose. To look down, you might be up here, which is perfect. You might be here, you might be here, you might be on the ground. Wherever you are, you choose to look down, depending on your neck, or look up. Hold the pose, breathe and hold. 
Trikonasana, triangle. Let's go into exalted now. So look down at your front foot. Turn your palm upward to the front side. Try to stay in your two panes of glass. Feel the strength in your front hip. Come all the way up. Stay square, don't rotate the shoulders. Then slide that hand up your butt and bring your shoulder blades back and down. Once again, you choose. Am I gonna look up? Am I gonna look down at the back foot? Keep going, keep going. Some nice breaths here. And then we slowly look forward and bring our hands. And we start to roll the kneecap forward. Roll the kneecap forward. Remember, we don't want this kneecap to fall in. We want to use all these muscles. We might even get a little longer, a little deeper. Then we look over top of our front finger. Remember, we're not leaning into the future. We're practicing being in the moment. We're not living in the past with shame and guilt, we're totally here in our practice. We're here in our practice breathing, letting our body teach our mind how to be strong and resilient. Turn the palms, look at the front hand, stay the lower body where it is, bring your back hand down and slide it up your butt, and slowly square your shoulders. You can look up at your thumb, or you can look down at your knee. You choose where you want to be. Nice. And then slowly come back up. We're going to be turning to the front now. We're going to slide our foot in slightly and see if we can softly, as Stephen likes to do, step with grace. Who's grace? Ha! Very nice. As we come to the top of our mat, we're going into our balancing pose. Shoulders are back and down. Chin is back over top. We're working our left leg now. So bring our left toe out in front. Get your balance. And we're practicing today eagle pose, it's called. We did eagle this morning with our arms, and now we're going to do it with our legs. We've got the balance happening. So crisscross, and you might come up your leg. Bring your arms out for balance. You might hold on to something so you stay in the pose. And lift your chest and chin up as you start to bend. Bend, bend. Chest up, chest up. Beautiful. slowly lift back up. Ha! Ah, shake out your legs. Turn your palms out for mountain. Bring your head back over your spine. Bring your shoulders back and down and listen to your heart rate. Getting a workout a little bit for our heart. We're all here supporting each other. We are not lonely. We are here together Monday and Wednesday and on Friday we're going to look at all our gifts in our restorative class where we lie on our belly and our back. We're going to practice more breath, more silence. It's also a posture class, so if you want good posture, be with me on Friday. Take a deep pose, float forward into plank, hold plank, broaden the shoulders. Come back up to downward dog. You can use the elbows if you choose. Come forward again into plank. You can be on your knees. You can be on your elbows. Pull your belly in and come back up to downward dog or come back to child's pose. Let's do one more strength. Here we go. Up into full plank if you choose. Pull your belly under your ribs. Top of head is towards me. Breathe and hold. And then slowly come down. Make a choice whether you need something at the top of your head for your child's pose, or you need something behind you, choose your pose. Open your legs up and breathe. I want you to stay now and feel the elevation of your heart rate and feel how the heart came down. The half the classes do this Monday and Wednesday. And on Friday, we focus on lengthening the muscles and massaging the joints. Bring your hands out in front of you if you're in child's pose and walk them to the right side of your mat. Take the right hand on left wrist and pull your left hip back and your shoulder back on the left. And breathe into this muscle called the rotator cuff. If you play a lot of racket sports, the rotator cuff muscle, really needs to be stretched. And then come all the way back to the left side. Take the left hand on right wrist 
and pull backwards through that right side as you reach across. Breathe and hold. Beautiful. Nice practice, everybody. Sink into your child's pose. And then very slowly bring yourself onto your buttocks and straighten out your legs and walk to the top of your mat. Put your apparatus aside and take your pillow and you might choose to put it behind you. We're going to line. I want you to watch for a moment is that I am going to be using a bridge position. So too soon for the pillow, sorry. I'm gonna keep my knees hip width apart and all I'm going to do is roll vertebra by vertebra up and down into bridge 10 times. Slowly up on your back and slowly down with nothing behind your head yet. Slowly up, squeeze your butt at the top and slowly down. Three more times all the way up and all the way down. And last one, all the way up and all the way down. Very slowly, bring your knees to chest, hands to knees and rock side to side. Ha, make a sound, great practice. We're just about there, everybody. And start to hold on to each kneecap and make a lovely circle outward. So you've got two circles, one at each foot and one at each toe. And then rotate them in the other direction so they're coming in together, in together, lovely. Nice. And then we're gonna bring our feet to the floor and we're gonna bring our arms out into the letter Y shape above your head. So you're letting your hands and shoulders release to the ground. We're gonna drop our knees now with wide legs over towards the left side of our mat. We're gonna take our eyes to the right side of our mat and we're gonna pull that right shoulder down and focus on rolling the butt forward on the right and squeezing the buttocks. Hold the pose. Releasing all tension on back. Beautiful, everyone. And then release the buttocks and come back to center. And just drop your kneecaps together. So the kneecaps are dropping. Your feet are still wide, remember, just about off your mat. And hold the pose, internal rotation. Let's take it now to the other side. Roll your knees to the right. Look to the left with wide, wide feet. Roll the buttocks on the left forward and pull that shoulder blade down your back. Pull. Very nice, everyone. And keep your feet wide, release your shoulder, come back up to center, and drop the knees together or towards each other. Pull the kneecaps as much as you can together. Tuck your chin, long line of energy. And then very slowly, bring the soles of the feet together. And if you choose, bring your blanket or pillow behind your head and bring your arms down by your side. We're gonna roll the belly button into floor, keeping the soles of feet together. Squeeze our shoulder blades down our back and hold it. And then we're gonna release everything and try to push the butt into the floor and lift the belly button to sky. We're gonna again roll into the floor, squeeze your belly button, squeeze the shoulder blades down your back, hold, hold, keep the breath flowing. And then softly release, and then come into an arch where you push your tail in and arch your belly up. And then release. And last time, again, inhale, push down, push down, push down. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. And then roll to center. And then arch your spine. Hold the pose. And then very slowly, bring both knees to chest, hands to knees, and rock side to side, massaging your spine. May I know peace. May I know love. May I handle life's difficulties with ease. Now I want you to think of someone as you're rocking side to side, or maybe one hand on each kneecap, whatever pose you want to do right now. Someone that you love deeply, who needs the message through the energy ways. May you know peace. May you know love. May you handle life's difficulties with ease. May you know peace. May you know love. Feel their presence with you, their essence. And then if you can in your heart, think about somebody that has caused you some difficulty in life or pain. 
Can you send this message to them? May you know peace. May you know love. May you handle life's difficulties with ease. May you know peace. May you know love. May you handle life's difficulties with ease. Very slowly, bring your feet to the ground. Knees are bent. Turn your nose to the right and open up your mouth with a ha. Ah. Turn your nose to the left and open up your mouth with a ha. Ah. Come back to center and bring your hands down by your side. And then slowly, I'd like you to extend the right leg and the left leg, bringing the pillow, possibly another pillow underneath your knees, or maybe a blanket underneath your knees, just to let the back round to the ground. Bring your hands down by your side. This is what's called Shavasana. Shavasana is just about asleep, but totally awake. It's those moments where you don't know where they went to, but you were aware of things. It's the integration of all of your practice. Some say Shavasana is the most important. Feel your Shavasana now. If your mind does wander, go back to the four, four, four breath, four in, four hold, and four out. Focus on may you know peace, may you know love, may you handle life's difficulties with ease. I'll be leaving you with no voice for a couple of minutes. So just lie there and remembering that the inspiration that you seek is inside of you. You just have to be still and listen using your third eye of intuition. I am content now. I'm appreciating what I do have and not wishing what I don't have. And very slowly, bring one knee to chest and follow it with the other knee. Rock side to side for your last little interlude of that beautiful back work that you did today. And then roll over towards the right side. Turn your nose to Mother Earth and really feel your balance and all the flexibility and things that you did today. And then very slowly, push yourself all the way up to sitting. Something will be born from this goodbye. In the pain of setting forth, something will die. With the release of the old comes a moment when nothing is firmly held and the unknown bridges burns the bridges of the past. When the smoke clears, my eyes seek out the new horizon. Nothing is known here, but the air is sweet and breathing deeply, I see long dormant seeds send up their shoots from the fertile ground of change. As leaves unfurl to meet the sun, the circle is complete. I will not forget a single moment of this time we've had, not a single moment of the journey of self-isolating, nor will I let comfort lock me in its warm embrace. I do not know what fruits these seeds will bear, but I have faith that what is taking root today will surprise us with its vigor, its newness. In birth and in death, in the breath and the final exhalation, there is pain. And there is a movement, though, into truth and reckoning and balance. I take this step that I am called for, even though I don't know what my destination will be. Hands to prayer in honor of each other being here today. Namaste means may the light, love, and energy in me salute the light, love, and energy in you. Bring our palms together at our heart and very slowly bend forward in unison. Namaste.